and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On a minute today, we're going to be cooking some fish. I get loads and loads of emails about this one. This is really a popular request. A lot of you don't seem to know how to fry fish. Anyway, today we're just going to go through one way of doing it. We've got a sea bass today, a whole fish, a whole sea bass, which has been cleaned. We're going to make some nice seasoned flour for it. We're simply going to fry it, get it out, stick it on the plate and eat it. It's really quite simple. Anyway, let's go and do it. Okay, so we're going to get started by making some seasoned flour, which we're going to just put on, onto our fish. So I've got like a cup or so of regular flour. I'm using a wheat flour on this one, but you could use a cornstarch or a rice flour, no problem. And then just take a look there. Let me just run through these of you. I've got roughly equal parts here of the salt, sea salt there, and some black pepper, some chili powder, some turmeric, nice little color that'll give us. And here some garlic powder. And then here, five spice powder. It's going to give it a, just, you know, really beautiful flavor. So let's just tip that in and simply mix this around. And that's done. Now you can obviously play around with this. You can put whatever you like in. You can put some more chili in, maybe some rosemary, some thyme. Yeah, just get whatever herbs and spices you like and make your nice dry seasoned flour. The five spice is what's going to really kind of stick out in that though. Okay, simple. Let's move on. So here we go. There's our fish, our beautiful sea bass. Now that's been cleaned on the inside and been de-scaled. So all the scales have been taken off. If you don't know how to do that, just ask your fishmonger to do it. They'll do it for you, no problem. Now this fish is too big for me to fry. So I'm going to take the head off and then I'm going to get, you know, a couple of nice pieces. I'm going to kind of cut it into some nice bits that we can put in the pan and fry nicely. So let me go and do that. I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see now, I've now cut our piece into one, two, three, four pieces and taken the head off. Now, some people would use that to make a fish stock. I would make that in a curry, which I've made that recipe before, fish head curry, or you can discard it. Some people are not interested in that, but yeah, still a bit of nice meat in there and so on and so on, so it could be used. I've also, as I, I've cut right through, but also if you can see, I've just scored down a little bit, you know, just in there like that. You know, not too much, not in too deep, just down to the bone, just about. Right, really simply now, we're just going to get this into our flour and we're going to get it into some beautiful hot oil. So I've got my pan on, I've got some oil in there, which is heating up. What we're going to do now, we're going to take our fish and just really simply, we're going to give it a little coat in our lovely seasoned flour. So let me repeat this and then we'll get over and fry off our fish. Okay, so what have I got there? Just like a couple of centimeters of sunflower oil. I'm using vegetable oil. Any oil you like, quite frankly, will work. And we're just getting that hot. What I'm gonna do is just take one piece of our fish. And just, just drop it in and see. Just drop there. Okay, so that's good. That's looking good. So it's not going crazy, but it's got heat on it. So I'm now going to follow that up with the other pieces. Now one tip for frying any fish in fact is, if it's sticking, don't try and move it, just leave it alone because it will actually by itself release itself. It's a big mistake that people make, they, you know, they're getting in there and trying to move it, you just break the fish. The other tip is don't keep moving it, just move it as little as you, as you need to, like once or twice. 
because you've got a greater chance of breaking it. I'm going to let that go. As you can see, this is not going crazy. Nice heat in it, but not going crazy. So I'm going to let that go for like sort of four minutes and then I'm going to turn them over. We'll take a look then. Now sea bass is quite a hardened fish, so it's not, you know, you're not going to sort of break it quite that, that easily. But some fish really is quite tender, so you have to be very careful. Okay, so like I say, that was four minutes. I'm going to flip it again in maybe four minutes again and see how we're getting on. I mean, some of these pieces are much bigger. I mean, you can see that cow piece is not enormous, but that is. That might come out a bit earlier. Now what I want to be doing is trying to get all the other edges done, so I'm going to stand this big piece on its side, the other side now. I mean it's pretty nearly there now, it's pretty much done, but I just want to give it that little extra. So just another minute or two then I'm going to be taking this out of the oil. That is looking perfectly done. And that flowered, seasoned flower we've got on there, it's got a nice kind of crispy coat in as well. Beautiful. Let's get these other bits out. Just shake all the excess oil off. Then you can put them on some tissue paper, you know, or kitchen towel to get the remainder. There you go. Simple as that. Okie dokie, there you go. Really, really simple. I couldn't resist actually, I cooked the head as well. There's a lot of nice bit of meat in there. So, I hope that's helped. Like I said, I had loads and loads of emails about this one. This is probably one of the most popular emails I get is how to cook fish. People seem to be scared of it, it seems. Play around with it. Use a different type of fish. Use different herbs and spices in there to get it how you want. That is really beautifully crispy on the outside and I guarantee it's beautifully soft in the middle. Why don't we take a look? Let's open that up. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic, beautiful spices. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Mm. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?